Hey friends, today we're talking about film photography. If that sounds interesting to you, you should stick around. For those of you who are new here, my name is Zach. I'm a full-time wedding and event photographer and filmmaker based in Santa Barbara, California. And let's talk about film. No doubt you've heard the news, film is all the rage. Because why? Because why? Why? Well, hopefully this video will help answer that question. So I'm gonna show you some images now. Some of them are film, some of them are digital. And I want you to decide if you can tell the difference, and then we'll talk about it. So what did you think? Were you surprised that some of these images were film? I've been shooting film for five years and I have struggled so much to understand how to get the results that I wanted. And now I finally feel like I'm able to do it using film as a medium. The images fit so well into my digital style that it's really exciting. But each medium offers something unique and something valuable. And that's why I shoot with both film and digital. So I think with film comes this idea of artistic purity, right? There are so many channels on YouTube where photographers who shoot film place film as the pinnacle medium for creating artistic images. And I think this can be a really dangerous position because it sort of invalidates digital as a medium. And I'm primarily a digital photographer. I wouldn't be able to have a business without digital cameras. I just wouldn't. And I think that's the case for a lot of people. And I think by placing film as the pinnacle medium, it can be confusing for people who are maybe new to photography or new to film photography. I think with shooting film, it also, there comes this idea of the past and nostalgia and, you know, sort of the grain and the dust and the scratches and the grittiness of film and the softness of film. All this is a part of the idea of film, but I think what's not often portrayed is the beauty of film and the elegance of film and the quality of film. We should look at film and digital as two equally valid mediums for creating photographic work, right? That's what they are. They're mediums of creating work. Both can create equally valid work of high quality. Is any of this making sense? I'm sort of rambling which I have a tendency to do when it comes to photography. Obviously, these are my opinions. What I am after is to be able to capture moments in a really beautiful, thoughtful, elegant way and be able to deliver high quality images to my clients. And I can do that with film and I can do that with digital. Digital allows me to deliver extremely high quality images, especially using modern cameras. Digital also allows me to capture moments more readily than film can. And digital is less expensive in the long run than constantly shooting and developing film. But film offers something really unique to the client and to myself as a photographer through the process of shooting film. It also offers a really beautiful final product. I wanna take a minute and say thank you to a company that's been supporting the channel recently, Cuts Clothing. Earlier this year, I joined Cuts as an ambassador and I was really stoked to talk about a brand that I've been a fan of for quite a while, actually. I love Cuts because their clothing is really high quality. The material is fantastic. They last a long time. They look good. I wear their shirts at home when I'm editing, when I'm making YouTube videos, the new AO pants and the AO joggers are also really awesome for important events. I love having clothing that just makes me feel good, makes me feel confident. So if you're curious, I'll leave a code. It's the Zach Mendez. You can get 15% off site-wide when you purchase clothing from Cuts. I'll leave a link in the description. Check it out. And I just want to say thank you to Cuts for supporting a small YouTube channel like mine. And thank you to all of you for checking out Cuts. 
So there you go. That's a little bit of information about film photography. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have questions, please leave them down below in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Love is free.